In today's video, I'm going to show you how Tana's new AI features can save you time, speed up your work, offload the tasks you hate doing, even if you're not an AI expert. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Ev and I help you level up your life and work using Tana. Well, yesterday was an exciting day in the Tana community as they launched AI for Builders. Now, if you're excited about AI, but you feel a little bit overwhelmed to set this whole thing up, then I'm here for you. So in today's video, I wanna show you how you can get set up super easy. It's so easy to set up. And then uh, create a chat GPT-like experience from right within Tata. So if you're the kind of person who switches over to ChatGPT numbers of times a day, ask ChatGPT something, copies it back into Tana, you can set that up in Tana so that you don't have to keep switching. It's incredible. You can ask the AI to do anything and it spits it right back in your Tana workspace. Now, officially, there are a lot more complex uh, crazy things that you can do with AI. And I'm going to leave that to the real AI experts. What I want to do in this video is just show you how regular everyday people can get it set up really quickly and start using it to do their work. So I'm going to show you three things in today's video. First, I'm going to show you how to get it set up in your Tana workspace. It's going to take you about two minutes. Then where I'm going to show you uh, how to actually use it uh, like a chat GPT interface. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you how you can actually level up your tables in Tana using the AI features. So let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need to set up your own OpenAI API key. Now, this isn't complicated um, and it's called AI for Builders for a reason because you are responsible for setting it up yourself and having it within your Tana workspace. But I promise it's really not hard. Now, you can sign up for a free OpenAI account and that's probably the best place to get started. There are going to be some limits on that. Um, you might find some lag time, that kind of thing. If you're running into limits, you can always enter your credit card and start to pay for the usage that you use. So it works on a pay-as-you-go uh, system. So as you pull the AI, it will count your usage and you'll pay for that. So when you first set up a paid account, you get a $120 spending limit. Um, but if you don't want to spend that much, then you can always, you know, bring that down. Um, I found I, I did a lot of testing yesterday on this and I've used five cents. So that's like a little indication of how much you might spend or how much the usage is. If you're using ChatGPT Pro and paying for that every month, uh, you may even be able to just cancel that subscription and use your OpenAI account in Tana. Okay, now we've established that. Let's do the setup. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is turn the AI features on. So um, all you do is come up to the cogwheel, go to your Tana Labs, and just switch on AI for Builders. What that'll do is restart your workspace and you will have the new AI features. The second thing is you want to go to OpenAI and just sign up for your account. So once you've set up your account, all you want to do is come up here to where it says Personal, and go view API keys. Now, API keys are just like a long string of stuff um, that you can um, place in your Tana graph and then it works, okay? It's really quite simple, it's not complex. Um, so, um, you can see I've got a few uh, here from, from different testings, but you'll most likely just have a secret key here. Um, but what you will want to do is come down here and press create new key. Now, every time you create a new key, it will only show you that key one time. So you have to make sure that you copy it and get it into Tana straight away so that you don't lose it. So we're going to call this our Tana test API and we're going to press create. So you'll see this come up here, just copy it. And so then come back into Tana, um, just anywhere in your graph, just command K to open your command uh, file and just find your um, set open API key. And then all you have to do is paste it in here uh, where it says open AI. You can see I've already got mine in there and that's it. Now, you are ready to use the AI features. I told you it was super simple. Now it's time to take our new AI for a spin. And actually it's really easy. Any On any node that you're in, all you have to do is type AI um, and then you can start to 
ask AI whatever you want to ask it. So I can say, um, let's say like, what are you? Okay. Um, and then all you have to do is press the button, ask AI. It will load for a little while. And then it will tell you exactly who, who, who it is. That was a dumb question, but you can see what happens. Okay. So, um, uh, so now we have that actual text in Tana. We're not, you know, double screening it, copying and pasting. It's right in here in Tana. What this means is if you're working in Tana, writing content, writing emails, writing copy, you know, like gathering things together, just getting your work done. You don't have to switch between ChatGPT and Tana. You can actually just ask it to do things. So some of the things that I end up asking ChatGPT or AI now all the time is like, so let's say I'm writing and I want a different word for something. And so I might be writing a whole essay and then I might have something like this. Uh, can you give me five synonyms for the word edit? Okay. And then suddenly I've got my five words and I can put that into whatever I'm writing. This is actually mind blowing because now as you're working in Tana, you can actually keep the flow and it feels like AI can kind of become that assistant for you. So let's try it with something a little bit uh, more complex. Um, so obviously you can ask it to give you, you know, simple things back. I do that a lot with ChatGPT, but what if you need to draft an email? Okay, so let's say that uh, we need to draft an email to our boss explaining that we're leaving and we're gonna go into month mode for six months and work on ourselves, and that I'll be back as a superhuman person effective immediately. Okay, this is a big meme on, uh, on Twitter at the moment and I thought it'd be kind of fun to write an email like this. So we're just gonna get ChatGPT to do that. And so if you're writing any kind of emails at work, if, you're, if you have to draft social media posts, I, I work in marketing, so I have to you know, draft a whole lot of things. Um, if you have to outline things, if you have to um, you know, sum up transcripts or sum up different things, ChatGPT is so good. Okay, dear boss, I'm writing to inform you I'll be taking a sabbatical. During this time, I'll be focusing on personal growth and development and will be entering a period of self-reflection and introspection. I understand that this may come as a surprise, but I believe that this time away from work will allow me to return as a more focused, productive, and effective member of the team. I'm committed to ensuring a smooth transition during my absence, work closely to my colleagues, appreciate your understanding and support, and look forward to returning to work as a superhuman person. Okay, so <laughs> that's obviously a really you know, fun example, but if you're writing any kind of email and you feel like you need AI to write it for you, or, you know, let's say that you need to outline something, you might want to ask AI to do that. And it really is as simple as just AI, you know, outline this topic. Okay. Um, so anything that you ask ChatGPT, you can ask the AI in Tana now. So the other thing I think that is really useful for normal people trying to get their work done in Tana is actually Tana's new AI tables and fields. So you can actually, uh, any table that you have, um, get Tana to suggest new columns for you um, and also to fill those fields in. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So we're gonna just ask Tana for a list of continents of the world um, and list them one per line, okay? Um, that is going to get uh, hopefully all the contents. Okay, so here we go. So then all we want to do is we're just going to add a super tag to these called continent. Oops, tag. And now we're going to view this as a table. All right, so we've got a whole list of continents here. Um, and we might not really know what do we want to know about the continent. So we're going to go here to add and press suggest AI fields. What that's going to do is kind of analyze whatever is in this table um, and then spit back some ideas on what columns we might want to put in this table. I found this really useful yesterday. I have a whole lot of Twitter stats that I um, keep in Tana and I want to see, well, what other stats should I be looking at? And Tana actually suggested them, which was amazing. So once, um, once that's done, you'll see now we've got a whole lot of different AI fields that we can add in. So I'm gonna add in population. I'm gonna add in largest country. I'm going to add in um, official language and I'm also going to add in time zones. Okay, so now we have a whole lot of different um, uh, columns that uh, are going to uh, relate to each of these items. Uh, and that was so easy, right? So rather than thinking through well, what do I need to know about all the continents, da 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 da. 
But you can also see here that there's some little AI buttons. So what the, what the AI can do is actually fill in all of the details here. So let's do it. We want to find out what the population is of each country. Okay, so it works super fast to do this. I'm just going to zoom out so you can see this happen in real time. Uh, the largest country, we're going to add that in. All right, super fast. Official language. Time zones. Let's get that going too. Now, that took less than 30 seconds, and we have all the continents knowing all their population, largest country, official language, time zones. If you had to research that, um, that would take you, I reckon, 30 minutes to an hour just to get all of this into a table. That took less than a minute to do that. That is the power of using the table feature here in AI. Um, so if you do a lot of kind of research stuff or you need to know, you know, bring, bring information in, it's perfect. Now, remember that um, you do have to fact check OpenAI because um, it, it doesn't always bring in factual information. It just knows what it knows. Um, so just make sure that if you're doing research like this, that you do actually fact check. And so I think this is a really exciting feature if you do a lot of research um, and or if you use a lot of tables, um, especially suggesting different um, fields that you want to add to those tables and then being able to fill them in. So that's it. I told you it was super easy and I hope that I have convinced you that Tana AI for Builders is not just for the builders and the complex kind of thinkers in the community, but that as a normal everyday person, you can actually use the AI to get your work done. And you might even be able to cancel that ChatGPT Pro membership. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel because I make videos like this all the time and if you have any questions or comments or you'll be using Tana for AI in a really cool way put a comment below I would love to hear about it and if you do want to get started using Tana really fast I would suggest you check out my course the Tana Fast Track it gives you everything you need and nothing you don't so if you don't want to spend hours tweaking and going down YouTube rabbit holes then uh, make sure to check it out um, and I will leave a link for it below. Until the next video, enjoy using your new AI features.